segment of Daybreak on a busy Tuesday morning. Laura Heath joins us this morning. And Laura wears a lot of hats. <laughs> Which one are we wearing this morning, Laura? Good morning. Good morning. I am vice chair of Dega GOP this morning. All right. So I knew you would be having one hat on. So, yes, sir. hey, a week from today, isn't it? It is. Um, we polls open at 7 a.m. And I encourage everyone to please get out and vote. So what do you expect? Well, I, I hope to see a great voter turnout. Um, I think there will be, don't I, you? I think there will be, too. This election is going to be monumental for our country, for our state, for our city. I mean, it affects us down in the municipal government level mm -hmm. very much. So mm -hmm. I look forward to a good turnout for voters. And because every vote counts, I've gotten a lot of pushback because the Electoral College. And see, Alabama is one of 29 states that the majority, like the popular vote in the state, the electors must be chosen. Like, let's say uh, Harris gets the popular vote of Alabama mm -hmm. or Trump gets the popular vote of Alabama. So if Trump got it, then the nine electors would be from the Republican Party and they would elect Trump as those, they would cast him as their vote. Mm -hmm. And so Alabama, again, is one of 29 states that goes by the popular vote for the Electoral College. And it's very important that every person gets out and cast their vote. So the polls open at 7 a.m. next do. Tuesday. And uh, how many polling mm -hmm. places are there in Tyler County, you know? I'm not sure the exact number, but I want to say there's around 28. Yeah, and they're scattered throughout uh, everywhere Talladega County. And uh, so what does a person have to have on their person when they come to vote? Well, they must have a valid ID. However, there is a bill that allows you to get positively identified by two people to be able to vote as well. Okay. But your ID cannot be expired and it must be valid. Okay. So polls close at what time? 7 p.m. Okay, so mm -hmm. after the vote is closed here, mm -hmm. what happens with the votes that just say from Jay Craig? What happens with those votes? They will be transported on a jump drive to Talladega County Courthouse, the main courthouse in mm -hmm. Talladega, and um, our probate judge, Chad Joyner, will then go through and they'll print out sheets and each party chair will sign off and validate the votes. So uh, other than mm -hmm. the presidential race, is there anything else on the ballot? Uh, um, you have several unopposed seats on there. Um, you have your uh, circuit judge, um, you have County Commissioner Philip Morris seat, he's unopposed. So there will be several unopposed yeah, people on there. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, the, we don't say enough about the poll workers themselves that right. do such a great job. I'm very grateful for them. It is a thankless job. They, <laughs> they do a phenomenal job. And, I mean, I have to say I'm very impressed with the way that our county particularly handles their, their the voting the voting machines. I went um, last week to watch you know the voting machines get tested and that was a very interesting experience just to see how it all works and i have to say we have a wonderful system here in alabama as a whole so uh, the poll workers here do poll workers get paid or is it all volunteer or they, what? okay you have poll watchers and poll workers okay i, I, I got it confused yeah. Yeah, yeah now our poll watchers um sometimes al gop will fund the uh Poll watchers. All right. What are what are poll watchers? What are <laughs> poll they? Poll watchers are you, representatives of the party. Okay. okay. Uh, you know, you'll have Democratic poll watchers. Okay. You'll have Republican poll okay. watchers. All right. And then the poll workers uh, are a totally different thing. Those are the people who I'm talking about. Yes. That that just uh, they're there long hours too. They are. They're there before all the voters get there. They're there well after all the voters leave and. It is a very thankless job, and I appreciate the ones we have here in Talladega County. We couldn't have better ones. So Alabama, traditionally a Republican state. Yes. Uh, and uh, there's a lot of states uh, uh, that, well, all states voting, but there are several states that are states that are 
weighing in the balance, so to speak, mm -hmm. and it's going to be probably a pretty close race, wouldn't you think, presidential race? Absolutely it is. It, it's going to be interesting to, to watch. It, it is. Um, I know that uh, Trump was in Georgia last night for a rally trying to, you know, Georgia's a key state in all of this, yeah. so um, I know that the Republicans are working hard and the Democrats are working hard to win over Georgia. Well, uh, locally here, uh, people are getting ready to go to the polls, and of course we've got uh, uh, Sylacaugo, we've got Oak Grove, we've got mm -hmm. Childersburg, got Bonaire, got Fayetteville, all uh, the areas uh, uh, that uh, normally are polling places will be open at, at 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. and, and uh, I am sure it'll probably be pretty crowded most of the day. It will be. I'll, I'll be at each polling site at some point throughout the day, and then I'll be at the courthouse afterwards, and it's a, it's a long day. I really appreciate it. So what time. do you do? I just go and I make sure that the poll watchers are okay. I go with our chairman, Sandra Epperson, to check, you know, when she's certifying the results, mm -hmm. and I'm just, I'm there to just for moral support, make sure our poll watchers are okay. We'll put out signs at the polling places the night before and just, you know, check and see how many people have shown up throughout the day to vote. And um, I know that SAFE will be offering um, rides to the polling mm -hmm. sites, mm -hmm. free rides. So yeah. I'm very appreciative of that. Yeah, yeah. So everybody that can vote, you're registered to vote. If you're not registered, shame, shame. Uh, because this is so, so important uh, mm -hmm. the direction of our country. Whether you're a Republican or a Democrat, cast the ballot, vote uh, coming up uh, Tuesday. Uh, and polls open at what, 7 o'clock? Open at 7 a.m. and they close at 7 p.m. Okay. And every vote counts. You know, people fought hard for us to have the right to vote. And it is going to shape the future for my children, my grandchildren, yeah. your children children, your grandchildren, and it's a very important election for everyone to get out there and cast their vote. Anything else this morning? No, I don't have All anything right. for you. You got anything else for hey, me? Hey, you know what? We're <laughs> just, we're ready to go because voting is one right. Absolutely. That can't be taken away from us no. unless we choose not to vote. Exactly. Yeah. It is very important. All right. Thank you for dropping by this morning. Thanks for having me. All right. We got much more to do on Daybreak. We'll come back with a final.